Okay, y'all, it is literally <laughs> four days later. <laughs> I am literally in a whole new set of nails. Aren't these fall leaves cute? Let me see if I could get it in the viewfinder good. It's super cute. But my natural nails are not playing nice, y'all. They are as soft as ever. They are making it so hard for me to rough up to get my press-ons to stick as beautifully as I normally get them to stick. So if one pops off in the video, don't judge me. It's a struggle right now. Um, but anywho, moving on, I think we finished this section. If I remember right, we were last in this pouch that keeps my um, hot glue gun sticks as well as E6000. And then in that box underneath the mirror was where I showed you guys the hot glue gun. So I think we're finished with that. Uh, we needed to finish the bottom of this as well as this drawer tower. Um, everything that's on top of it. This full tower and full wall over here on the side. Um... And then, of course, we needed to do my actual desk, which isn't too, too much. A few things, but not too, too much. So we'll go ahead and start over here with this tower. I'll just work my way down. I think that might be easiest. Um, up here, I just have some decor. So I have like a candle holder with a pink love candle from Bath & Body Works. As you can see, it's another um, wall sticker right there. Those, excuse me, y'all. Those are from the Dollar Tree, if I didn't mention that before. Um, I talked about these little knobs earlier in the video. This is my hole puncher that I love so much. This one is, let me see, is it Rapesco or something like that? Yeah, this one is from Amazon. Um, it is linked in my storefront. It does come in other colors. Um, I love it because when I switch planner sizes, as you can see, it does A5 personal, A6 pocket. Some other ones I don't know anything about. This slim line and timer and mini timer 14. I don't know anything about any of those. But you essentially slide these two pieces back and forth the way you need them. So I slide mine for pocket and personal since y'all know those are the two planners I have. And then I have this cute little um, stand. I think the stand is and the plate actually are both from Hobby Lobby. It says walk by faith with these cute little black and gray leopard heels. I just love that for decor. And then over here, I don't know what this little thing is. Most spec. I could reach it. Let me see, what is that? I don't even know. Anyway, um, this little cutie with the burlap I got from like one of the timber stores. I don't know which one. This one has been in here a long time. I added this rose a day away. This came in a little um pack of like um what do you call those things? Like postcards. I added that on there and I added the little floral strip of paper. I'm trying to hold my hand steady. Floral strip of paper underneath the burlap at the top and the bottom just to kind of make it go together with the room. I thought it was super cute. I know it was in the clearance section, so that's why I picked it up. I thought it would be cute deco for the room back when I first turned the room from just our, you know, um, his and her sitting room to my actual babe cave. Um, and then this is just another one. I think this was on the other side. I talked about it. This is just another one of the um, little light up flowers. Again, I wish it lit up just white, but it doesn't. It lights up a bunch of colors, which is crazy. So I just leave it sitting there just for deco. So that's on the top of the second little um, rack. That's like this one. Again, I try to buy things in twos when I can. So this is a shoe rack, which I think would only be for a toddler. Um, it did come from Walmart online years and years ago. If I can find the link in my purchase history, I will link it um, so that you guys can grab it. But it's a perfect size for storing little knickknacks. So this one says sequins plus glitter equal true love. This is another one of those little um, deco pieces that if you shake it, you know, the confetti glitter, whatever moves around. I'm sure it's from one of the timber stores. Nope, this is from Target in the Target dollar spot for three bucks. So I just use this as deco and set it there. And then this frame I actually got from my sister-in-law. Hey, Kim. I don't know if you'll be watching my video, sis, but if you do, thank you, thank you. Um, I got this back when I graduated um, nursing school. Couple, couple years ago so super cute frame and I just put a simply gilded um, journaling card in the center ideally it's a picture frame you could put you know an actual picture in here but I just put a simply gilded journaling card in here that I thought went really well um, with the room and then there's nothing else behind either of these two pieces so if I needed to store some more things I could um, but right now that shelf is mainly just deco just like the top shelf is just mainly deco and then of course the um, hole puncher that I use. I just sit right there. And then down here, I've shown you guys the inside of these two cuties. This is, um, 
what do you call it? <laughs> Train case, I think is what they're called. Um, both of these are from Victoria's Secret. I picked these up when I first started planning. At first, I was using one of these as my actual planner bag, but I quickly realized it does not have enough space <laughs> for the amount of stuff that I like to use. So I do have two labels on here. It's upside down right now, but it does say paper clips. And the other one I think says like floral tags or floral swag, something like that. Bows and flowers. So I have shown you guys the inside of both of these. I'm going to do my best to try to unzip it right now with one hand just to give you an overview. Um, but I, ha I do have a video on both of these, I think, individually. Did I do one video for each? I don't remember. Might be a video together. But this is where I keep all of the paper clips that you see. I'll put some stickers and stuff in front of that mirror. Um, but this is where I keep all of the paper clips that you see in the front left hand side of my planner. Um, I do have some of them just in here loose random. And then I do have some grouped together in the back. In these little zipper pouches here. I have some of the holiday ones grouped together. Like um, Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's Day. Um, I have some of my favorite ones grouped together in the, um, what do you call it? <laughs> in each pouch so that it's easy for me to find the ones that I need. So this is the paper clip ones. This is the one that I essentially go into most often these days since the paper clips I am still using. This one I was using when I was doing the TN planners or like the A6 rings, the way that it closes, the ones that I have um, from Pell Studio where you put like the floral swag on the front. Um, that's what these are for. So these are the ones that have that little tiny lobster clasp um, or they have the, what is it, like a Velcro closure. Boy, this is super hard. Like a Velcro closure um, to get them on. So it's a bunch of really cute um, you know, floral swag pieces that you would put over a closure that has like a tea and string. Now stuff like this, you could definitely clip onto your purse, which I think I've done a time or two before, but I do have some with very large lobster class, but most of them have like that Velcro closure on the back, um, for you to actually close it and, you know, place it on whatever planner you want to. And then there's some like this that has the smaller lobster class where you would hang it on the string. So essentially these things go on planners that close with strings on the front. I haven't really found another way to use them just yet, um, but of course they're all so pretty and I collected so many gorgeous ones so fast in a short amount of time. Spent way more money on planner stuff than I should have. <laughs> But um, they're just too cute for me to sell or give away. Um, so I have no plans on doing that. Even if I don't go back to TN planners, eventually I will find a way to use them more, which may include putting more of them on my bags. And I don't know what this is, y'all. This was not here before I pulled that pouch up here with the glue sticks. But anyway, so yeah, so that's what's on the bottom level. And again, that's that little three tier little shelf and then we have another one of the little Michaels drawers and this side basically holds all of our paper I'm gonna move over here so I have my hand free so in the top we have our regular copy paper for the printer for us to print regular documents the kids stuff for school things of that nature in the second drawer oh and I also have them labeled so when they come and grab <laughs> stuff um, they're not using my stuff that they don't need to be like this is inserts paper so this is from a planner so they don't need to be using that when they have what I like to call regular paper so yeah, so that's for printing regular stuff. Inserts paper, this is where I have different color paper. Like I have pink. The drawer is empty of purple right now, but I'll show you the package later. And then I either have 20, what is it, 24 pound or 32 pound paper. Sometimes I will pull some out of the actual big pack, like how it comes in a big pack like that. I will just put some in this drawer. And then sometimes lately I've just been keeping it in the bag since I newly purchased that um, 24. No, yeah, 24 pound paper. I was trying to move down from 32 because it does bulk up your planner. So I was trying to move down about the 24 and I didn't want to get it confused. And so I've been leaving most of the white paper in its package. So I know which is which. Um, this drawer is sticker paper. So this is, ooh, let me make sure I don't accidentally show my address. Hold on, y'all. Um, let me just move this and then we should be good. Yeah, so this is some sticker paper that I found at this particular store, onlinelabels.com. This is what I like to call premium matte sticker paper. I think they call it weatherproof matte for inkjet printer. If you guys can see that. But this is like that premium matte paper that people use when they're doing... Shit, I'm going to have to find a way to blur that out. Um... This is like that premium matte paper that people use when they're doing stickers. I had purchased this when I was trying to make my own stickers with my Cricut. Again, I've explained to you guys that that did not go well. Me and the Cricut just 
we couldn't get our life together y'all but eventually one day i will um so that's what that is for and then this is cardstock so this is thicker paper i don't remember what i initially was doing with this something i was trying to create for planner stuff i don't really reach for it for my planner anymore most of my cardstock paper is in these large paper pads here um so the solid cardstock paper i don't generally reach for but the kids do sometimes for some of their projects so we just have this in here and then the bottom drawer is where I keep my acetate and vellum. I have said in some of my planner flips that I have a full package of it. This is a loose sheet of vellum that should be underneath it. But I have a packet of vellum. And I want to say both of these are from Amazon and already linked in my storefront. Um, but I have a full packet of vellum paper here that you can print pretty much anything on or just use it blank if you want. And then I have a pack of acetate, which is that clear um, kind of... I don't know, it almost looks like a laminate sheet of paper, um, but it's a little thinner. And so this is the one you also can print things on. You do have to be careful, especially if you use an inkjet printer. When you print on this paper, you have to let it dry for quite a while. Otherwise, the ink will move, um, especially if it's a lot of ink in one place. So I tend to print on vellum more often than acetate, unless I'm just doing like words. Then usually printing on that um acetate won't be such a problem so I'm gonna go ahead and move down here to the bottom just so that I can kind of keep myself in order from left to right so let me move over just a little bit sorry I know I'm probably making y'all a little bit dizzy if I remember right we already did this cube and this cube um I don't think we did this cube so back here I have three of those Ikea containers this one has like older like birthday cards Mother's Day cards things of that nature I just have a little label on it that says cards and memories this one is empty and that one is empty these are all the same size but this one well let me just show you with these Ikea boxes it comes with the holes right here where you can put the little piece that comes with it the little pull and then it also has the holes on the side so if you wanted to use the box this way you just put that um, little pull piece here or if you want to use it this way you put it here so the way I was using them before these two the pull tab is on this side and then that box it's actually on that side that I just showed you guys but it's nothing back there um, again I recently got rid of a lot of things that I knew I would never use again for planning um, gave them to you know my sister my friend donated some so those boxes are empty <laughs> but I love this style of box so not something that I'm interested in you know giving away or selling down in this bottom one I gotta make sure I don't show anything private. So down on this bottom one, essentially we have like file folder system. This little cutie is kind of like an organizer. Um, I had planned to use it on my desk for something I currently don't use for anything. This one just has like a Swiffer um, dust in it and then some Windex. I use this when I'm going to clean off my desk. Back in the back we have some other file folders that are like larger size. Like when you buy your house and you go to closing they give you those really long ass documents that are not like 8 by, what is it, 8.5 by 11. I just have those folders tucked back there. And then this is Instead of having a whole file cabinet I love this so much more this I got from Target years ago but this we use to keep all of our important documents like the ones for life insurance car insurance um, all of the cars and then of course our home and a couple of like taxes and like um, like medical dental paperwork like important stuff we should keep I just keep all of that mayhem in there I try to clean it out every two years so that it doesn't get crazy and then it can stay nice small and compact because I don't want anything bigger I really don't I hate a bunch of paper clutter it drives me bananas next at the bottom as you can see is all these books so when I talk about setting up my planner um and I'm definitely gonna try and take you guys along for the ride <laughs> for me setting up my Christmas planner but I just been busy y'all so much to do but um this is a paper pad I want to say I got from Joann's that's on top so it's not in an actual booklet form um it's just a bunch of like loose oh it's definitely stuck let me just take this out um, it's a bunch of loose kind of paper that came in a special pad and I just bundled it together with this little binder clip on top here is some of that specialty paper that comes from Hobby Lobby I don't remember what the name is called let me see if the tag is still on it all right so if anybody is interested in this one this one is a very pretty paper and it's not gonna play nice so here let me just turn it all right oh goodness it's upside down it stays sold out at least it was back when I was getting it um, but this is what the tag looks like. It's from Hobby Lobby, $1.99 Paper Studio. Let me see. Um, 12 by 12. What is it called? 
holographic glitter iridescent self adhesive so this is a paper that if you want to just cut the size and put in your planner you could but essentially it peels off and it sticks to whatever you want and makes whatever that is this really pretty like glittery holographic holographic look it's really pretty it's almost kind of like what happens when you put the glitter over reels on instagram it's kind of the same concept um this is essentially what the paper pads look like it's just a large 12 by 12 paper pad it comes with lots of pages some have 48 some have even more than that most of mine are hot buys from michael's they're originally 20 dollars, and they'll usually be two for 20 when they're on sale sometimes they'll even be six dollars they'll be 5.99 and it's just literally full of a bunch of paper sometimes they're one-sided sometimes they're double-sided but i just have tons of these books with random um different pages and this is what i cut to size and put in my planner as dashboards sometimes I make them dividers and I laminate them with the tabs and all of that which I've talked about before and so I just have a bunch of those books and then in the front I have a couple of the smaller ones like this is the one that I use for the Halloween setup I recently shown you guys let me see these are eight by eight this one is also from Michaels it says it was ten dollars nine times out of ten it probably was on sale for five as you can see there's some paper sticking out the side I try to keep my scraps either in the book or in this other container that I'm going to show you guys in a second but this is one of those um, paper pads I was talking about when I said that I have a couple of smaller ones that I'm still able to cut to size for whatever planner that I'm using so this is where all of these papers are and I'm just going to move these to the side because there's no way I'm going to get this book back in there one-handed um above here I have another like photo storage box in the back that I'm not doing anything with it's literally still got the wrapper on it and behind it is just the box that um the Gilio planner came in so these are my planner covers these are the personal size I have a couple more on the other shelf um, but these are my personal size planners so we have a VDS one and I'll just show you guys in case anybody is new here and wanted to see it. That is the Janet, uh oh, the Janet Black. This is a Gilio in purple. I don't know the exact shade, but it's an ostrich print. This one was called Freddy something. Um, and this is also a Gilio. This is a Janet Brown from VDS. That perfect fall rustic orange color. And then we have, let me move over a little bit. Sorry, guys. We have my other two pocket planners. We have my multicolor Louis Vuitton one. This is authentic. It's got a pink interior. I love that. And then this is my VDS one, which is in a croc print. Love that one. This is one of my coach notebooks. This is with the um, pink roses and stuff on it. And I just have a tool pin tucked on the inside. These, uh-oh. Oh, Lord. One-handed is not easy. These two books I recently read. Um, I'm not a huge book reader. Normally reading makes me sleepy. I have to be really interested in the topic and pick out the book myself. Like it can't be something I'm forced to read at school. It's not going to happen. Um, but these <laughs> books I wanted to read recently. So I did great, great books. Both of these are great books. I would highly recommend them. One is called Feeding the Soul by Tab Tabitha Brown. And the other one is called Lies My Doctor Told Me by Dr. Ken Berry. Um, and then this is another book that I have from a family member. And then moving on to this section here here is where my other planner covers are located this one is well here let me move this so I can get to that ah! all right this one is the velvet matte croc from vds this one's in that pink shade oh do i remember the name of it uh, i don't i'll try to pop it up on the screen um this one is the one that's similar to it i know this one was called stardust it's like a cream tan color and it's very soft um feeling it's it's like you could pet it all day it's so nice i love it this one what happened here oh is that from sticking next to the planner oh that's not nice sorry oh well um i put this l on here from hobby lobby but this is a follow facts cover this one is from um I want to say I got this one from the Follow Facts website, but I know you could purchase those um, from Amazon as well. That was one of their special Centennial, I think, 100-year collection or something to that effect. This is a red um, velvet croc one from VDS as well. This one I got off of um, Macari. 
and then back here is another photo box well let me show you what was in front so i can pull that out this is just one of those little coupon kind of booklets from the dollar tree i just put a sticker on it or label that says inserts and in here sometimes when i freshly print and cut inserts and i don't feel like filing them in there in the right place i would just put them in here so in here i have like the ones i like to use for finances the to do my weeklies and then the dailies that I had started using um, a little while ago are also in here. This is one of those A85. <laughs> one of those personal ring zip around agendas from Kate Spade. It's the Kate Spade uh, Wellesley planner, if I'm not mistaken. And in here is where I keep most of my inserts. I'm kind of revamping how I keep like dashboards and acetate and vellum that I've previously bought or cut. I used to keep them all in here, but I'm trying to redo that so I don't have to open this every time I want to do a new setup. But anyway, I just have a couple of, you know, the vellums and kind of acetates and papers that you guys have seen in my planners. Everything is just kind of in here. Um, no really rhyme or reason, but I try to keep most of the dashboards and stuff in the front if I can. And then some of the inserts, of course, when you print them, they're usually like two to a page or if it's pocket size, they could be four to a page. And so I'll put the extras in here. So we have like blood pressure. Uh oh, I do cut slits in my pages. So those just pop out. Um more vellum let's see here we have online shopping inserts other vellums acetate friday is my second favorite f word welcome to the shit show just all kind of different pages that i've gotten and cut to size either from sub boxes or um i've printed them myself you know or purchased them sometimes this acetate and vellum can be found at michael's excuse me or hobby lobby let's see important date so you guys get the gist it's basically a bunch of inserts um, that I've already printed and a bunch of vellums and acetates and stuff I have in here. Even some cloth and paper inserts are in there. So that's what sits in there. And I'm just going to sit this back on the shelf real quick just so you guys can see. Hopefully it stays. <laughs> you can see how it was sitting. This clear container it's just one of those little organizing containers you could find at like dollar tree or something i found this one at five below and i just have these particular planners in here this is a purple file effects it's a personal rings um i did use it for a little while but i just have it currently holding inserts that i've recently used like my most recent weekly and daily pages are in here this is another one of those um like coupon style type of um i don't know what to call this thing container pocket file folder and in here same thing i have more inserts and stuff that i've already printed and cut to size for my personal rings planner so i'm trying to put that back in there these i showed a while back in a haul video i have four of them they have gold 30 millimeter rings and then here i'm just gonna pull one out Ugh, they're pvc so they stick to each other <laughs> But in here, I just basically tried to put like a front dashboard, just something basic. I think this one came off of um, a Juicy Couture blanket that I have. And I just kind of cut it, rounded the corners and tossed it in here. But again, these hold like my older weeklies, daily. Some of these are holding my older monthlies or my older finance, little checkbook register pages. Um, and that's basically what these are for. So all these have like my archive inserts. Um, of course, this system isn't going to work forever because I would have to continue to buy these um, little planner covers or buy more planner covers like these to store them. So I don't know what I'm going to do long term, long term. But for right now, this is working. Um, and so this is where my older pieces are kept. So now I'll take everything back down and show you guys what's behind it. Oh, that's heavy. It's just one of those photo boxes and then a shelf like I showed you in one of the other areas of the cave. This shelf is from one of the timber stores and then in this photo box is where I have currently all of the personal ring stuff. So all of the current planner size that I'm in, this box is in here It's just to keep these things from falling over. But in here I just have a bunch of extra inserts. I kind of tried to create these little um, dividers. They come with the box and so I just kind of wrote on them what's in here. Random deco, previous dividers that I've made or purchased off Etsy. Um, I have some older dashboards in here. Let's see here. Some older, let's see, decor, pouches, dashboards, um, some other like pocket folders, PVC dashboards, and then some of those pockets that people like to use for like cash envelopes for sinking funds or cash folder symptom, sy systems. I have those, and then I have like a bunch of the original pockets. This is what I was using when I first started doing sinking funds. You slide the cash in from the top. I still love these, but I love my other ones better that I got from a shop off Etsy. I know I've linked it in previous videos. I will try to link it 
down below. And yeah, so that's everything that's in that box. It's just my personal goodies. Okay. So try to push that back. And I'm going to try to put this stuff back up here, y'all. Bear with me. Okay. So put that there. I will zip that back up later. Can't do that one-handed. <laughs> All right, so the next thing down below is just um, the last bottom cube, and it has one of those, I forget what these are called. It's the same one like I had on the other side of this same cube. It's from Ikea. It's those little racks that you can hook on. I don't know if y'all can see that arm, but it goes all the way back. It hooks on, and then it hangs. So in here, I have some pink paper from Office Depot and some Layla purple paper from Office Depot. A little wrapper just fell. Um... I use these for inserts. There were times where I thought about making my whole week pink or my whole week purple or some of like my to-do list pages or just random note sheet pages. I wanted to make them colorful. So I purchased these packs to do so. My issue with them is the fact that they are the same size as regular printer paper, which is 20 pound. I don't know if that's focusing very well, but right here it says 20 pound. So it's very thin paper. Things like Tombow markers, mild liners, things like that. They go through the paper. Um, so I don't use these very much, but they're pretty to look at. Underneath that, I have two more of those, um, what do you call these things, like storage boxes. I tried, well, essentially when I bought this pink polka dot one, I cleared the shelf. So I have all of them. But in here is where you'll find like the scrap papers for when I do setups. And there's pieces left over. I don't like to throw them away because you never know. So I try to keep all of them just wherever. Like here are some really cute Christmas ones I'm, of course, about to start using for my setup. Um, but that's what this is. It's just more scrap paper this one's kind of empty because this one is full <laughs> this one is full this one has like oh my goodness so much in here also have those really large letters from Hobby Lobby let me see if I can find the label all right so it's the alphabet stickers that you can get from Hobby Lobby or Joann's or Michael's um, but I like sometimes to put one of these large letters on like a dashboard or a divider but this container is full of all kinds of scrap paper, the scallop paper from um, Michaels. I don't know if you guys ever seen this infamous scallop paper. I don't know if they still sell it. I've had this stuff for years, but very pretty paper. If they still have it, you can you should get it. Here's a scrap piece of that holo sticker paper I was talking about. Um, bow paper, all kind of stuff, y'all. Some more large letters. Just everything is in here. So I have tons of scrap paper, lots more of that scallop paper in different colors. So just great paper to use for different setups. I like to keep everything in here um, so that I have lots of options to choose from. I'll be honest, sometimes when I'm doing setups, I forget about this box. <laughs> and then I don't go and grab some of this stuff. But sometimes that's a bonus because then instead of using something I've already used before, I get a whole new look because I'm pulling from these paper pads or something I found online. And then it's like a whole new setup. So I tend to play with, um, you know, my supplies when I DIY my stuff. I see this timer is getting close, so let me restart this. Okay, let me grab this pink thread, wherever that came from, toss it in the trash. All right, so moving up, <laughs> or maybe I should just start my work my way up since I'm already on the floor. So moving over, this is the bottom of the next tower. So I have this cute little purple bin with this handle. I found these, I don't remember if this was a four pack or if these were individual. I don't remember, but it's perfect Layla purple. It's very um, structured but soft at the same time. It's got that little like handle on both sides. And I purchased these to replace the green containers I was previously using when the room was like a green and gray. Like I said, his and her sitting room. It became the uh, babe cave. And when I got my purple couch, I bought as many purple things as I could before I just kind of had pink and white. So this was one of the newer purchases. But in here, I keep this cutie was given to me as a Christmas gift. It had like two or three smaller um pouches in it but i love pvc pouches you guys i find so many different uses for them so as you can see this is kind of like my um tool bag <laughs> for just me a lot of times when i need a wire cutter or a screwdriver or a flathead i struggle to find the one in the kitchen in the junk drawer because my husband or my son would have used it and not put shit back where it's supposed to be so i had to create my own stuff these pieces are literally just from walmart and the dollar tree so i have my own i don't have to look for my stuff because i put my stuff back unlike this them i love them to death but i swear when i need stuff i don't feel like having to look for it like it should be where it's supposed to be so it's a bunch of little like you know l tool thing in here um screwdriver flathead wire cutter i don't know what these other pieces are called but they like help hold things whenever i want to open up 
those little rings as you can see in here there's a couple of those little rings in here whenever one breaks or is loose on a charm or something i have this little container from i want to say walmart um where i keep some silver and gold rings in there so that's what this pouch is and then i have an old work badge when i worked as a labor and delivery nurse for piedmont um what's in here these are the villa beautiful pouches that all those pretty pins came in when i did my villa beautiful haul and i didn't want to get rid of them because i thought it may be useful for gifts or for organizing um i don't remember what i was doing with this i've had this a while these are those really small organza bags i was using them for something y'all so i just keep it in here what else is in here um when i worked labor and delivery it was easiest to have a fanny pack on to have all of your goodies in to wear the entire 12 hour shift in here i would keep my chapstick some breath strips um i think i had a pack or two of like nuts and fruit snacks for on the go quick literally chew it while you pee and snack if you need it to snack because as y'all know as a nurse you don't really get bathroom breaks and sometimes you may not get a freaking lunch break i used to keep my cell phone in this back pocket closest to my body and of course this little fanny pack is layla purple i found it on amazon um this is just a pouch where i used to keep the pins i would use strictly for work so i had the 0.5 tool pin um the boxes on the charts we used to have to write on we had to chart electronically but we had to do some stuff on paper and the spots were really small i write really big so i used to use a 0.5 pin to help out so a couple pins in here that were strictly designed for work even this um villa beautiful type pin is actually from fur and you if you can see that probably can't unless i take it out but um i don't want to open it and then this is a um eye flashlight i can't remember the fancy name you guys slip of my mind and then this is a dry erase marker for writing on the board in the patient room so i had this little pouch i did used to take like a tote bag with me to work um, with these types of things in it so that is that and then in here this is one of those um i think it's like a large size villa beautiful pouch and i have my stethoscope in here since i work from home i don't have to use it but this is my Lipman stethoscope inside of here, of course, in a purple shade, the only purple shade they offer. <laughs> so put that back in there. So I'm just going to toss my goodies back in here. A little work ID. Y'all look at this little thing. Let me show y'all this. Look at this. Isn't that cute? I love that. So, so cute. But night shift and L&D just were a lot for me. <laughs> so... I was an L&D nurse for, well, actually here, let me turn that back on the side, there, for a year, I think a year and a month, um, and then I decided to do something different, so that's what's down there, so honestly, when I pull this bin out, it's really just for this pouch right here, um, I really don't have to go in this bin for anything else, but I hadn't really decided what I want to do with those things yet, so that's where they are. Moving up, I have one of those little three drawer systems that you can get from like Big Lots, Walmart, Target. Um, I put some cardstock paper right in the front. Normally these drawers are clear, but I don't think that's very attractive. So I put this cute little cardstock paper in here, just kind of taped it on the sides. Can't show you inside that drawer because that's where I keep the items that I want to shred. Um, and sometimes I honestly just have hubby put them on the grill with the charcoal when he's about to grill something and just set them on fire. Like it's way faster than shredding. Second drawer is where I keep some of the paint stuff. Remember I told you guys I painted that frame over there for the book coffee first sign. Um, I've painted some other things, silver and gold for the holidays, just kind of DIY projects. So I just have like paint in here. I have these little um, trays that hold different color paint. We have, what is this, gloves I think. Yeah. So just some paint stuff in there essentially. And then this one, same thing. It's a couple more paint bottles, a couple other colors, green for Mally's room, mint for Jazz room, white for anything, some gold. And then Jazz had bought some paint brushes to work on something for school and she just got them in purple because she's like, when I'm done with them, I'm not gonna use them, so I give them to mommy. But these are my regular paint brushes I had. I didn't find purple when I first bought the paint brushes, but now I have these cute little purple ones Jazz had got for a school project. So that's what's in there. And then, you know, nothing else on top. Just this little cutie sits in this cube all by itself. And then moving up a cube, we have another purple. Oh, get off my knees. We have another purple container. Same thing with the handle from Amazon in here. Ooh, let me see. How can I get this down without dropping it? All right, bear with me out. Mm, okay. In here, it's a bunch of different stuff. Ideally, um, small clipboard that came in a planner spot sub box. Let me see here. This is an older journal, spiral notebook, another one of those Simply Gilded pouches. I don't even think it has anything in it. 
Mm -mm, I didn't think so. It's empty, but I love the print on the inside. Can y'all see that? The pretty owls and flowers. So cute. Um, this is a Notique pouch. The pouch I keep my laptop in. You weren't able to purchase the laptop sleeve. Per um, you weren't able to purchase the laptop sleeve separately, which is what I would have preferred to do, but that wasn't an option. It came in a four pack. I don't really use all the other pieces, you guys. So I just have this one in here. I think this is the second to largest one. Nothing is in there. Um, here's the next size down. I think the smallest one is like a card holder size and I have it with my wallets and card holders, but I really don't use it because I prefer the other stuff I have. This is another smaller notebook. This one's really pretty. It's from Simply Guild. It's kind of got like a little bit of a shimmer in it. So I love that one. These are notebooks I wrote in back when I first kind of started journaling a little bit. This is a suede Nubuck brush. It's good for cleaning like Timberlands, but I have it to clean the, um, grab one one of the oh if i can i don't think i can one of the velvet matte croc planners from vds this cover that i showed you guys um it helps to get any marks or stains out of it so i have that in there stand that planner back up ow okay um so let's see that's in there what else is in here this i think has some old yeah some old plug-in speakers i used to use these at work this is a stiletto pouch from the super blinged out phone case and stuff that i got but in here it's just if you can see through it's like a black and white pattern it's just some speakers you can plug up to a regular ac plug i've got a mouse i don't really use anymore but it's the wireless mouse from hp i would use it my laptop um this is a b6 size tn type of um notebook cover or planner cover whatever you want it to be this one came with a simply gilded sub box you've got the four gold strings looks like this one inside i used this one for journaling for a little while have it you know anytime recently but i still keep it this is a simply gilded kind of um what do you call this thing like a pouch organizer pouch in here it usually has like a pocket for like pins and other stationary type things Oh, it's really pretty y'all not something I can get rid of so you got multiple pockets on the left you've got the zipper pocket on the front you've got this pen sleeve with the loops on it and then underneath it you have this big open space so this is a really good planner pouch if you don't have anywhere to keep your pens and um, pencils scissors all of that stuff this is the lid to one of those little three tray things from dollar store I know that I just don't know where I currently have it at um, this is one of those little toolbox things. It has like different sections in it. Yeah, as you can see, I'm not currently using it for anything, but I have some labels in here that I forgot about. I should take these out, y'all. Okay, struggling, struggling. I'm gonna take these out and move them. I think I printed them to go in an A5 planner. That's why the font is so big. And as you know, I'm currently in a pocket and a personal, but I just have this little extra container in here and then on this side is a villa beautiful pen pouch that came with one of the recent pen orders the one that i showed you guys that really big haul i haven't ordered any villa beautiful pens since then except not for myself the ones that i have ordered they've been for gifts um a couple months ago but this came with my order i remember that large order i showed you guys and in here you just have some pen loops on the side it says my pretty pins to cover it up so they don't scratch each other and then some more pin loops this is super soft i love the quality of this so if you just want to take a few pretty pins with you and you don't want them touching each other if you're really ocd about that um, these types of um, containers are really good for that so i have this in here i try to keep like the pouches that are literally just for planning or just that i know i'd use for planning type stuff i try to keep them in here and not with my other pouches because you know, I don't want to mix them up or I feel like they're too big for me to use in my bags. And so I will keep them here in the cave. So the cave is not for my bags. But as you can see where I've shown you guys, I have bags in here because everything can't fit <laughs> in the boutique. I have maxed it out. So I do have some bags in here, but this room essentially is for planner stuff. So I got that bin back up there the best I could with one hand. So moving up. Oh, y'all give me a minute. I am not 20 anymore. <laughs> my poor little knees okay so moving up this is the next cube this is another photo box this one is from hobby lobby i love the floral gold y'all see that oh my god it's so pretty in here's all of our receipts hold on let me see if i can uh i want to make sure my address wasn't going to be on top if i show you guys 
so all right looks like we're good so this is what it looks like it is due to be cleaned out i try to clean it out every year i try to keep these receipts for online orders or things that i purchase in the store for one of the kids if i'm not sure it's going to fit i try to keep the receipt till they wear it and then like i said when i do the clean out i go ahead and toss things that i don't feel i need here is a second one of the same exact box again these are from hobby lobby i have had my things for a long time so i'm not sure you'll be able to find them but if you can i know you guys probably would love some of these goodies and here is our mail stuff so i have like a it's kind of like packaging tape but i use it whenever i do sell stuff or i need to ship something these cute labels my bestie got me i think for my birthday this year was it my birthday i think so but warning opening this package will cause extreme happiness y'all sometimes the last couple things i've mailed i forgot to stick this on there and i was so mad at myself after the fact um but yeah in here I just keep like ship things i have one of those rolls Golly, it's impossible to show. Maybe I'll show from this way. Have one of those rolls where you peel it off from here and it has like your address label on it. And I think I might accidentally show that a second ago. So I'm going to cover that up. But this is one of those rolls where you peel it and it has the label on it. So you don't have to actually write out your address. Let me make sure nothing else to show my address. Okay. Then I have this pouch. This came in a planner society box, I think. Or was it simply gilded? I think it was Planner Society. I have a bunch of older business cards in here, especially like a lot of um, planner stuff. This is some veterans cards to this gentleman in Florida that will help you with your VA claim if you need help. Um, but these are a bunch of like older. Um, matter of fact, while I'm in here, hold on, y'all. Let me try and use my legs. Let me see if I can find one because the other night when I was laying in bed, I was thinking about something that I'm going to have to show y'all and I don't remember the name of oh wow there's a picture of the kids in here what's that doing in here uh, I have not been in this thing in forever y'all nope that's stickers even some of these are from planner shops as well I don't know if I already said that I don't know what I already said okay so I'm sorry y'all I'm going to hold y'all up but I was trying to find the card that goes to this little floral arrangement that I have in here because I know people are probably going to want to order that. I know if I was watching this video, I would want to order that, but I don't see it. So I'll try and look for that later um, when I'm editing the video. Oh, Jesus. So let me try and get this back in here. Oh, here it is. What do you know? It's big. Okay. Yes, this is her. All right. So pretty in pink. I'm going to show you all this now. Creations. Um, her Instagram is... If I could read that pretty in pink creations by Priscilla Michelle it's a thank you card looks like it's sticking to something oh something else okay so yes I'm just gonna show you guys real quick right now this particular floor arrangement with the LV on it and these very pretty flowers came from her and I know if I was watching this video, I would want one because there was a video I was watching years ago where I wanted that. And that's why I ordered this from her. So I found her on Instagram. Um, so I have that. These came, I don't know, they were supposed to stick to something that we were doing. And then I have like the smaller envelopes and then the larger envelopes. And then this is like, I think it's called electrical tape or something. I don't remember what I was taping y'all. Who knows? I probably was DIYing something, but I like to keep the tapes in here just in case. So I am going to put this tape, well, address roller back in this box without showing you guys my address and then put the top back on. Okay. So that is that box. And then the last one is actually a sneaker box this is a sneaker box from some jordans that i own it's the ones that have the glitter on it and in here when i first started using happy planner stickers i felt like i had to flip through so many sticker books to find a certain sticker that i knew i had seen before and it was driving me bonkers so i spent a couple weeks tearing up my first i don't know we'll just say my first 10 sticker books i spent a couple weeks tearing them up and pulling things out and grouping them together let me see if i can switch hands so you see all the labels i have like appointments memory planning budget no spend happy plans habit tracker faith fitness all kind of stuff so i created these little pages using some of that cardstock paper that i showed you guys and y'all look see how short my thumbnail is compared to my other nails it cracked down the middle y'all already i've had these nails on like two days i'm learning where i can and can't buy my nails from because they just aren't as strong as i need them to be but anyway this isn't anything but the 
um, cardstock paper that I showed you guys from those paper pads. I just cut it to size. I left a little section to kind of create like a little tab and then I use my label maker and put labels on it. And then in that section, I just bundled together with, what do you call these things? Zip ties maybe? That little white thing at the top. I just bundled together the pages that I pulled out that I noticed was that way. So for a long time I was using these um, as I did my planning. I'll be honest I don't really reach for this box as much. I usually just kind of reach for one sticker book and try to force myself to plan only using that one sticker book or that one weekly kit that I might have purchased. Um, but essentially this is where I organized a whole bunch of my Happy Planner stickers and it literally takes up this entire shoe box. And I do have them in alphabetical order. And then in the very back, I have two, I think these are called photo boxes. And I have like um, die cuts and vellum and like things that you could essentially use like larger stickers. I have them in here. So let me put that back. Ugh. Uh -oh. Something's in there loose that I probably forgot about. Oh, I have a whole pack of like purple die cuts and like larger stickers that you could use. Super cute. Love the lips. I think I got this in a love box from Miss T, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I have those in there. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> okay. So I have the, all that in there. And that essentially is what in that what is in that section. Sorry. So let me put these things back. And then, oops, there we go. We'll move up to the next level. Sorry, y'all. Trying to get this stuff put back because the last thing I want to do is leave the room a hot mess. Okay, let me switch my hands back over. All right, so moving up from this shelf up to the next one, I have another one of those purple things. I think I ordered four of them um, in this shape, and then I'll show you guys the other shape in a second. In here, I probably don't really need it. Well, yeah, I do because I'll have to show you guys the pages. Ugh. All right, so in here. I have a bunch of those Simply Gilded sticker books, the smaller one where you can put those sticker sheets that you order from shops like Etsy and Once More with Love and all of that. I have a bunch of these. Um, I used to kind of separate some of my stickers in here, but I quickly outgrew being able to do that. So I'm going to show you guys how they're currently stored. Um, this is one of those kind of sticker books from Michaels. A bunch of different stickers in here. Uh-oh. Well, that's what that's. I just have that tucked in the front. Then I have some more of the Oso paper sticker books, same size essentially. Um, those smaller sticker sheets where you can put stickers in here. It's kind of like a photo album, but it's designed for the stickers. Like when I bought these, she had like a bundle, like order 20 sheets of stickers and you get a free sticker book or something like that. And you had like four different designs to choose from. I'm greedy, so <laughs> I ordered a bunch of stickers and got all the designs. Then I have some more of this type of sticker book. I used to keep some Planner Society washi strips in here according to this label. This is from Happy Scrappy. Again, it's just another sticker book. And in here, I do have some of those Planner Society um, labels. Most of these are the fall collections. I started um, participating in the sub box in the fall. And so I still have a lot of fall items. Let's see here. Oops. Then we have another one. This looks like a Planner Society one. It's the same thing. It's another photo album. As you can hear, it is still in the wrapper. So it's very crinkly. Sorry about the noise. Then these, I think I got these from the Dollar Tree and kind of did my own thing. I just put a journaling card in it. This one says Dreams. It's from um, Simply Gilded. And it's basically a photo album. But I was using it as sticker books before I ordered some of these other sticker books. I kind of DIY'd my own little situation. <laughs> using these journaling cards to kind of create sticker books but like I said I quickly outgrew this system because I really like to keep my sticker books excuse me keep my stickers grouped together by what they are because I hate searching for hours for a sticker when it's like girl you could have just wrote down what you about to do and get the hell on with your life and so oh no not the battery hold on all right y'all sorry about that y'all know the batteries only last so long and boy is this video forever okay okay where we at all right, so um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, so I'm super OCD, y'all. Like, I like to keep the stickers separated so that I can just, you know, when I want to use a sticker and not just write it out, I can do so. So in here, it looks like I was using this one for gold. I haven't used these in so long. This is another, I think, Happy Scrappy sticker book. Um, but I do have my stickers organized a little differently. Yeah, Happy Scrappy. A little differently. Come on, focus. 
now. So I just have all these in here and I just, I don't know y'all, I just don't really have the the willpower to get rid of this stuff. Like, I'm like, I will use it in some kind of way. So another one, same thing, put stickers in it or die cuts or whatever I was storing in it at the time. Currently it is nothing being stored in here. So I just have them in here. Cause like I said, I don't want to get rid of them. Let's see, tucked over here. I don't know what Santa Gilded called this, but it came in a sub box around the time that the Louis Vuitton S scale print collection dropped. And it's essentially to help you write. You know how sometimes you're like, you're writing in your planner, let's say you're right-handed, you need to write on the left side of the page, but you don't wanna do it in the planner because the rings are in the way, but you're like, I don't know, at a doctor's office, so you're writing in your lap. You don't really have like a desk you can write on. This was designed so that you can keep it in your purse or your planner bag and use this kind of like as a makeshift clipboard without it being a whole clipboard. It's very thin, it's laminated, it's very sturdy. It's great material. So I don't tend to really need to use it, especially because I work from home and most times I'm writing in my planner at home. Um, but I just keep it in here, you know, just in case I ever wanted to. This is an old, uh oh, the rings are popping out. This is an old, um, what do you call it? Happy planner, uh, what is it? Mini size. I'm trying to think of the size. This is the mini size, the one that has, what is it, seven rings. I made my own sticker book using this. Um, I just took some older sticker sheet paper so it has like that non-sticky back. How if I just plug this battery up and I only have two bars instead of the full three? Oh my God, anyway. Um, so I made my own sticker book using this. I had put some of those stickers, pulling them off of other sticker sheets and putting them onto these pages. It worked very well for a while, but again, I'm very picky and I just kind of think of new ways to organize my things and I end up moving from one system to the next um, based on what's gonna work for me. I'm trying to get this ring back in here before it comes all the way off. Probably better stop before it completely comes off and I don't have two hands to do it. Okay. So anyway, I just kind of bought like an extra notebook or extra planner. I don't remember just to steal the cover. And then I have some larger rings in there to make that. So that's what that is. Over here is one of those Simply Gilded books. This came in a Simply Gilded sub box. It snaps open. It has like a zipper section in the front, which is where I have a couple of individual um, bow stickers. Her sub boxes always came with a sheet of bows to match the theme. And then of course you could always order some. Um, and sometimes it would come with one individual one like this as like a freebie or a sample for the next theme. So I put those in there. And then in these pages, I have all the bow stickers. So I used to like to make my dividers out of these bows, but now I like the tab system. Um, I may, you know, do this again, but I do sometimes use these bows on my monthlies or on my weekly spread. Um, I haven't really done it a lot lately. Uh oh, why is that not in there? Um, but in these two sided pages is where I have all the bow stickers. And then towards the back, I think there's some bunny, what was she called? Juniper, I think is the name of the Simply Gilded. Um, bunny this little cutie so these are super cute like holiday christmas theme ones with the buffalo plaid and you've got the buffalo plaid um bows over here red and black black and white um, black and green super cute and then there's like some other colors and oops, bows i was using this um book as like a planner not a planner a like organizing my sticker sheets and I had like labels at the top of each page and then I pulled those off. So some of the pages do stick to each other because of that. You can see the residue right here. Um, but yeah, just have all the kind of larger bow shape stickers that came in Simply Gilded sub boxes is what's in here, so all of those. And I think there's a couple of, yeah, there's a couple of Cookie Sticker Co. Drip Gang stickers back here in the back. And I think this one came in happy scrappy, these bows, but these are super cute, especially this sweater one. Really cute for like a winter setup. So that is what is in here. Oh, I am really a great tripod holder, ain't I y'all? I feel like I'm all over the place. This one came in an Oso paper sub box. This one is a, um, golly, hold on. My elbow was like, hello, I don't want to be bent for three hours. Um... I guess you could call it like an envelope system. It's not PVC, but it's it's a really great quality. It's got a little slider zipper at the top. In here, I just have journaling cards. So I keep them, I'm gonna show you in this other thing, I started keeping them in, but then it started overflowing. So I just started keeping 
the journaling cards in here because I was literally running out of space. When you are sub to a couple of sub boxes or you order journaling cards often, your stash builds up fast. And again, I'm OCD. I like to keep things together as much as possible. So I started having to put the overflow in there. But this sticker book I got from Michaels. When in doubt, just add stickers. I've had this forever. I don't know if it's something they still carry. But in here it has like the perforated center. So it keeps things from moving over. So this is where I keep my journaling cards um, initially. So I have quite a few from all my different sub boxes. Super cute. Some I ordered like because, you know, Simply Gilded's been doing sub boxes for a while. Like this one, I wasn't subscribed when Hummingbird was released. So I purchased this from somebody along with the washi tape. Um, but yeah, this is just a book full of different journaling cards from different Gold Mine and Cocoa, Oso Paper, Simply Gilded, Happy Scrappy. All kinds of different ones are in here. And like I said, when it ran out of space, I had to find a plan B. So since I was getting these envelopes from Oso Paper with my sub box, I decided to use them. So that first orange one has journaling cards. The second pink one has this, um, what's the right word for this? It's like a pocket folder. I think this one came from something bare. Let me see if it's written on there. Something, something with bare. I don't remember the name, but... After I got this one, you guys, that's when I started trying to DIY my own. <laughs> and sometimes it's an epic fail because I will put the cardstock in the laminate sheet wrong and then it doesn't work right. Like when you go to open it, everything won't open. It's like stuck together. But this is the first one I got. If anybody knows, oops, sorry y'all. If anybody knows where this bear is from, comment down below. But I'm probably going to find it by the time I edit this video. Who I'm scared to edit this video, y'all. It's going to be so long. But I'm going to try to pop things on the screen as they're coming up because I know it's super annoying to watch a two hour video and then have to wait all the way to the end or even have to scroll to the bottom while you're watching to try to find the links or the name of things, especially if you can't understand how the person said or enunciated the saying. So I'm going to try and make sure I pop things on the screen. But this is another also paper folder that came in the sub box. It's actually empty. There's nothing in it. It's just like this orange one that I just showed you guys. I just don't currently have anything in it. Um, I probably would have 50 million more of these if she continued her sub box, but she went a different way with her company. So she did stop the sub boxes. Um, that's the one I just showed you guys. And then this is one of those, um, what do you call the thing like a pencil pouch from the Dollar Tree and I just have like the magnets in here she was sending magnets with her sub boxes I don't really like things on my refrigerator except for the holiday magnets that I put on in short term so I got this so meowgical cute little um zippered pouch from the Dollar Tree it does have the three holes it's for your binder to put your pencils in um but I just currently use mine to hold the magnets in here I think that's everything in this container you guys yep so that is everything in this container do my best to pick it up oh get it back in there and then now we are at the very top of this uh shelf cube shelf and i just have this last purple one i really don't know what's in here y'all i've been in here in a while all right so it looks like we have a simply gilded pouch and in here we have a bunch of binder clips so i don't know if you guys have ever seen or if you currently do make your own pen loops using binder clips all you need is some elastic type of ribbon you put on it with some type of glue I use e6000 and I made my own binder clips I did this mostly when I had planners like the Pell studio planners that don't come with a pin loop I started making my own especially when the planner society put this in a sub box showing all you need is this elastic ribbon and a binder clip I ordered a bunch of binder clips and a bunch of ribbon off of Amazon and as you can see in here I made a whole bunch of the planner clips on my own. I also have some of these that came in other sub boxes. So you have like this one. This is a happy planner one if I'm not mistaken. You can get that from like Michaels. This one came in a happy scrappy sub box. It's like an adhesive one with the elastic um, loop and then it has like a little if it will show a little image. It's not showing well y'all. Um, these I think came from, yep, this came from Simply Gilded, some pen loops. I'm going to switch hands, y'all. My right arm is not a happy camper. Um, these came from Villa Beautiful. So these are some Villa Beautiful pen loops. Same thing. It's like an adhesive piece of, um, you know, decor. And then you have your elastic for the pen loop. And then I think there's even some, yeah, from the Planner Society as well. 
same thing it's got a bow and this one's hard to see because the elastic is white but same concept so I just have all these pin loops in here of course you know depending on the planner you're using like my you know Louis Vuitton where I cut out the pin loop that was useless can't even hold the real size pin so I just have a bunch of these um let's try to zip it with my leg <laughs> a bunch of these um pin loops and uh supplies to make pin loops in this cute little um simply gilded pouch this is the bag of elastic that i purchased from amazon you can see it better this way i've had it for years as you can see there's a bunch of binder clips in there and a bunch of different colors of elastic um that you just cut to size and do whatever you want to do with it i like i said if i see something i'm like oh i can make that myself and i will order the supplies to make it so in this bin is a bunch of stuff um let me start in the front here it looks like i have some video ideas page that i made when i was in the um classic happy planner size i have this cute um be thankful dashboard my friend akila bought me i have these three happy planner dashboards super cute these are things I just could not bring myself to get away, even give away or, you know, get rid of, even though I'm no longer using Happy Planner. This is a B6 size TN from Simply Gilded. I think I was using this for journaling for a little while or as a glorified notebook one. I don't remember, but I have a couple of the little Simply Gilded notebooks in here. Let me see without showing y'all. Yeah, I was using this for journaling. So I have a couple of decorated pages in here and then a couple pages where I did actually write out my thoughts and feelings. Let me see if I have any pages that are decorated without my business on it. Here's one. So here's one where I would use like extra pieces from a sticky kit, sticker kit like the washi tape and the bow. I would use it to kind of de decorate the pages and then I would just write, you know, my feelings in here. So this is basically a journal. Oops. It's close. All right. Then I have some more notebooks and journals in here. I have a couple more of books over here from like the Dollar Tree. I think this is from Cloth and Paper. It's a bucket list. It says private. It's a smaller little journal. This I've had a long time. It's a Victoria's Secret book. It um, It's like a journal. Let me make sure there's nothing written on the front page. Nope. Looks like I tore them out. <laughs> I was using this one really just as a notebook. I don't remember using this as a journal. So this one's just got a bunch of online pages in it with the little pink angel in the corner. And it does have a little angel wing on the um, magnetic tab and then a pen loop. So this one's just a notebook. This one's kind of weighted. It's kind of heavy. Um, but I remember back in the day I did used to keep that one in my purse as a little notebook before I started carrying planners in my purse. Shopping is my cardio. This is a cute little notebook. I think I got this one from um, TJ Maxx, but basically one of the timber stores. Just kind of use it as a notebook. I think this one was gifted to me. Believe you can. It's a cute little notebook. Let me see. The inside, I think it's just lined. I love the Layla purple. Yeah. This one just has some little random notes in it. Let's see here. This one. Let me move these three because they keep falling over. Um. And this too. Oh, dang it. Okay. Let's see. Either I will find a way or I will make one. So this is a little notebook. I think this came from like also paper or something, maybe. It's like a guided journal. So it's like or a guided like to-do list. So it's like must get done today, would like to get done today. If it happens, it happens. And then at the bottom it says one day, one week, one task at a time. It's like a guided to-do list type of notebook. Then this cutie came back, I think, came out in like late 2018 from Oso Paper. Um, oh, or wait, no, this might be, yeah, Go Mine and Coco. I'm sorry, Go Mine and Coco. I know they had a couple of collabs, and so a lot of times I look at the dolls, and I think it's Oso Paper, but it's actually Go Mine and Coco. Um, this came out late 2018, probably like a Black Friday sale. It was like a goals um, gift pack where you get like some washi and some inserts, and then this is like a guided um, goal journal, so it does have some notes and stuff in it. But let me see if I can find, there we go. So blank page. So even though it's for 2019, you could easily cover the year up with stickers and use this as a guided journal to help you, you know, write down some goals and stuff. This one is like another journal. It says amusings and reflections, gold mining cocoa. Try to find a blank page. Oops, no, that's not blank. This one has like, come on, man. I don't know how, but. Oh, I see. I took some pages out and hole punched them and put them in my A5. <laughs> I'm like, how is that not connected? So inside of this one, it has like the month and then like the day of the week at the top. 
And then a bunch of lines and a cute little doll in the corner. Same thing on this side. I love how she's holding her dress out. Super cute. So it's another like journal that helps you easily mark like your, um, you know, the month and the day or whatever. Then this little sexy beauty, I think I got this from... I don't even know y'all one of them stores got a clearance sticker in the corner for a dollar 25 it's just a notebook um that you can write you know anything in i don't even know if i have anything written in it doesn't appear so if i did i probably tore the pages out bestie got me this one when i was in nursing school nurse life a snarky adult coloring book it pretty much just has like smart sayings and different things in it some truthful you know sayings, some kind of comedy sayings that nurses commonly say um, don't make me use my nurse voice. So super cute. Lots of different pages you can color and stuff. I'm not really big into coloring. Um, so I don't think I ever actually colored in here, but I absolutely loved reading some of the statements when I was having a bad day or really stressed out, you know, in nursing school. This one is a book I purchased because I was going to try to learn how to do calligraphy. I don't like my regular handwriting. So trying this book out was definitely not something I ended up doing, but I still have it. Should I ever change my mind? It does have, um, you know, cute little sayings in it as well as the instructions on how to use it. And then this came with something that I purchased. I think I found the item at TJ Maxx, but either way, one of the timber stores. These are a bunch of different um, pieces that you can punch into the board. Let me show you guys the rest of this is empty. And the board is actually here so i put hello boss bay planner girl in this particular board and then all of my pins um enamel pins i don't really like putting them on my clothes or pouches or things like that i'm just afraid that that piece is going to come off and i'm going to get poked and i'm just not cool with it so i put them in here i purchased this board for this reason and then i just like i said did the hello boss bay planner girl and i put all these pins in here so i will go over that more again in a second um but moving back over here so we're just going to put these things back in this bin as best i can one-handed because again i don't want to leave <laughs> My room or my desk a hot mess. This is the reason why this video is taking so long because days that I was in the mood to film this room, it would not be clean, y'all. These bins would be busted open, ish everywhere, stuff all over the desk, notebooks wide open, journals wide open, all my personal feelings and business everywhere. And I would just be like, mm -mm, I don't mind filming the room, but I don't feel like cleaning up. So we ain't about to do that. So <laughs> that is the reason this is essentially taking so long, you guys, because a lot of times, even mail, like this mail that comes in the mail, I would put it on the desk. I would come up here and put it on the desk. And next thing I know, a week later, there is a pile of stuff on the desk that needs to be filed and put up and read and just, you know, just things, y'all. Something fell on the floor. Let me grab that. It's the other... Uh, page marker I use when I do plastic happy planning so get that back in there and this back in here okay so let me see if I can get this put back up oh bear with me y'all all right so get it put back up in this last cube here and then up top I don't have anything in this bag this is a cute little black and white Sephora bag I just thought it looked cute just for decoration so I just put it up there even though it's black and white um, it just kind of goes okay with the room to me, so I leave it. This pink box, something came in it. I don't remember what, but I thought the box would be cute to elevate my little floor arrangement. Again, it does have LV and little LVs all over it. They're gold, so kind of hard to see with the shadow, but it does have pink flowers. Of course, I ordered this before I found the purple couch, or y'all already know this would have been purple, but it does blend very nicely. And then tucked in the back, I have a Victoria's Secret shopping bag. I don't keep anything in there. I just like the things up there for deco. Same thing with these little cases. Are they not the cutest little vintage things you've ever seen? These are from Amazon. I will also try to link them. They might already be in the storefront and the home decor stuff, but I will look and see and try and add it if they're still available. Um, but I did get these from Amazon. There's nothing in the bottom two, but in the top one, I know that I have some notes pages. So let me grab that. I'm sorry if I'm making y'all dizzy. There's really no other way to show this room. Um, but in here I have some notes pages so I have like these line papers I like to use as just random inserts notes whatever I have a couple of pages from oh I don't remember this company's name something but it's got like pale studio type planners all over it gosh that seems hard to see super cute the background of the paper is pink and it's got all different colored planners on it and like pretty pastel colors so I hole punch that to personal size 
Um, it's like a paper pad in here that was from, what's the one? Uh, the Planner Society. Also pastel pinks and purples, which y'all know I love. So I cut it to size for personal, cut slits in the pages. And I like to toss this in my planner when I need um, loose, uh, loose leaf paper. I kind of put these things in this box before I started doing the pages in those planners. So again, some of my stuff is in different places. And this is one of the things I said that I kind of want to get all put together in one place. I just have not had the time to do that kind of reorganization. But I love these cute little travel bins from TJ Maxx. I mean, from Amazon. I think they were listed as, you have got to be kidding me. How is the battery blinking, y'all? Oh my God, stand by. <laughs>